ladies and gentlemen. I think the last people to it have is time to say Vancouver. good evening. Good evening. Wow. Welcome to Tuesday at Lawrence yeah. Place. Yeah. The house Tuesday. is packed. Look at this. Nah. Whoa, I can't believe we can't fit any more avatars in here, can we? Not <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, anyhow, that's it. We're ready to rock and roll. Hello, Calliope. Hello, hello, Bart. Hey, nice to see you. Dust Radio. Yeah, right. Okay. And what do you got? Do you have a, what do you have in hand? Your wand or oh, a, a cigarette with a cigarette holder? We haven't seen those in a long time. Yeah, right. And here comes Lizaday, who, by the way, did a great performance the last time Lizaday was here. It was just rock the place. It was so good. Hello, Misty Ghost, and everybody else, and uh, what have you. So, uh, <clears throat> so anyhow, it's the last week of the Second Life birthday, correct? Until yes, next it year. Is. But next it is year. open all week. It's open all no week. No events, and, but you can tour the whole place. And nearly 37 avatars actually went this year, which is an absolute <laughs> You know, we just really uh, packed it up uh, there. You're 37. Right. You well, remember when one I remember when... Sim. Yeah, I remember back in the original days, you know, you get like two, three hundred people at a show, you know. God, it's just terrible. Everybody's alts are dying. <laughs> <So it's really> <laughs> <terrible>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyhow. So we had a lot of fun out there. Right. Uh, hello, Explorer. How are you? Yeah, we're just going to fool around tonight, talk about whatever. Yep. And, and what's this? This Second Life 2 coming up. Isn't that somebody was saying about that? New World Notes. Somehow New World Notes always gets this information and then publishes it. And what does this say? There's a 75% discount for one month of Second Life Go. You know what that tells me? Yeah. There's only 25%. <laughs> There's only 25% chance that it'll still be in business. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, isn't it by the hour, though? Don't you, don't you, no, no, you no, can no, get all you no. all, all you can use. There, there is a payment that is not by the hour, but uh, unlimited. Un unlimited frustration for just 75% wow. off, right? Yep. And uh, and this is just I just love this guy you know Hamlet O whatever his name is James O oh, Wagner I like, I whatever like Hamlet yeah yeah uh, working on a next generation virtual world that will be in the spirit of Second Life so I guess what they're going to do is increase the number of updates in the early stages right <laughs> <laughs> Monday Wednesdays and Fridays will be updates yes mm -hmm. uh, where users will have incredible power to create anything they can imagine. La, like I can create a pine box finally. That'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Come on, Explorer. Remember when you first came on? And, you, and I mean, what, what could you do? I couldn't even figure out how to put clothes. And then somebody said, oh, you just drag it onto yourself. And I dragged an entire wardrobe right onto myself. That didn't work out that well. No, that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We believe that there is a massive opportunity ahead to carry on the spirit of Second Life. Let me tell you something. they got one million people watching Second Life, and they got six billion nine hundred ninety-nine other million of people doing something else. <laughs> 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 the next generation virtual world will go beyond what is possible in Second Life. We'll be able to steal yourself stuff before you even make it. <laughs> <laughs> You will yeah. be able to lose your inventory when right. you didn't even have it. That's correct. Our priority in building the next generation platform is to create an, inex an incredible experience because we really fucked up with this one. <laughs> 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 you know, making Second Life 2 just means that, it, you know, it's like, you know, it's like Microsoft, you know. Uh, Second Life 2 will be the vista of Second Life. Right, exactly. <laughs> Second Life has many years ahead of it. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. No, no, they, they, I don't no. know. They made it they're, taste like Pepsi. So, soon they're going to come out with Stevia, which will get all the fat people even fatter. Which is amazing. <laughs> oh, here's a quote. It's still the very early days of this new project. <laughs> We're trying to buy a computer. Will you lend us the money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
that's kind of <laughs> that's just sad. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. If there's one message to share with Second Life users about this new project, would be, don't panic. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Forty-two. Oh, that's, Forty-two. Actually, that's good. Forty-two. It's a reference to hitchhikers. But we're working on something that will truly fulfill the promise of virtual worlds. Oh my God! The guys will be able to have true sex in Second Life and feel like it's a real thing. <laughs> oh my God! Did you hear about that suit they were working on? A suit that you wear it. It's it parts of it in haptic. Place. Haptic. Yeah. yeah, haptic suit. It's in the it's in the book that uh, oh that uh, uh, player it's one ready. Play, which, ready player one. Yeah. Ready yeah. player one, which uh, my dear Dr. Fran turned me on to. It was a great book. Yeah, I had fun good. with that. Linden Labs is working on the next generation virtual world. Can you lend them wrenches and hammers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can have my my dad pull stuff. I can. <laughs> A smaller development team is working, still working on Second Life. Oh, no, they did one. <laughs> <laughs> the new world will be closed sourced and not backwards compatible. It'll just be backwards, period. <laughs> Low fidelity. Low fidelity. Oh. Dear. oh. I've seen no official word on this, but it could cause quite a stir when the YouTube video is uploaded. If we can find somebody who can show us how to upload a video. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yes, if the early report is accurate, it would be quite something. Will we be able to use Lindens in there, or will they be a new currency like <laughs> Bit Lindens? <laughs> Okay. Meantime, Philip Rosedale is working on high fidelity. He, he is trying to get the entire video game to play on vinyl. <laughs> Box vinyl, it has a Who? Lynn, Philip? And that surprises you? You're well, really amazed? I'm Gee. not at liberty to talk, but there's some yeah. good stuff going on there. Well, we know there is, and we know you're inside on all this. We know I'm that. We, yeah, I'm exactly. Brand. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. But really when I tell you I heard stuff, you say, oh, no, that can't be true, right? <laughs> right. No, but yeah. I'm, I'm talking about stuff I've really seen. Um, I just can't have non-disclosure. You have non-disclosure. Okay. Yeah, we were asked not to talk about stuff. I'm in, I'm in, oh, no, it's not even a beta, it's an alpha. Beta. I'm in high fidelity, yes. Here's what a couple of comments say. Uh, I don't have great amounts of trust for either Philip Linden or Linden Labs. <laughs> <laughs> you think? If I have to start over from scratch, yeah, scratching the vinyl record, right, then I'd rather make sure that I get a return on my investment and won't have my stuff locked away for two to five years from now. Sign the major investor to high fidelity. <laughs> <laughs> really, does any news out of Linden Lab excite me? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Snap. Okay, this is certainly good. interesting news. Given the limitations of Second Life, I'm not surprised if making something more modern means backwards compatibility isn't possible. <laughs> Honestly, if Fidelity is good enough, who will want to keep their archaic-looking Second Life content? Hillary Clinton. Wow. <laughs> so once again, they claim the creators of a monumental importance. How can anyone accept the content theft running rampant on SL Grid and the lab ignoring nine in ten DMCA complaints? Wow. What's a DMCA complaint? Um, Digital media something? For, uh, content theft. Content oh, theft. okay. I'm thrilled about this news and wish Linden Labs nothing but the best. However, I don't play video games. Other big news today. Yeah. Oculus Rift says <laughs> that they will not be able to coordinate with high fidelity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... 
I'm sure the development of Second Life 2.0 is being made in conjunction with High Fidelity. Won't that be great? The two of them will come out with two products that nobody will use, right, and merge with Google Lively. Have you forgotten about the... <laughs> I fully expect, while they have been eating, or while they have all been eating up the same old plate of, quote, we value our content creators, the lab has been feeding us since the beginning. They have forgotten about the demise of a large number of major creators. All those who were undercut by thieves selling their creations, oh. long gone now. Ooh. Remember back in January 2010, the lab bragged about the economy reaching a billion U.S. dollars annually. <laughs> yeah. They're going to have to wait till the Federal Reserve makes money worthless, and that won't be so long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There's a couple more comments. When a huge company like renderosity pull permissions to use their content in second life we must ask ourselves a few questions who what's renderosity does anybody know oh, that that's it's the a new 3D one I content. Was talking yeah. about yeah that's the one i was talking about the new one you can't that's pull a new the, the, you can't pull um their like uh textures off of it anymore you used to be able to go in and pull a texture for a well throne you can't do that yeah a... cg textures did the same you can't thing. do it oh anymore. you mean yeah. just go go this into images and and yeah. yeah and just take them grab a texture okay. yeah yeah let me promise you there's a four-year-old kid that's figuring out how to do it right now <laughs> yeah. no, you can do it they just don't want you to do it yeah nothing can stop uh, you are you gonna SL? talk about cardboard Right, cardboard. <laughs> cardboard. Well, Instead of pine boxes, we'll have cardboard, right? No, no, cardboard is the new replacement for Oculus Rift. Yes, oh, I, I actually, yeah. I have what are you talking about? With those. I'm going to say it, that July it, 9th, it's a card going Well, that's, that's exactly what Oculus Rift is, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Oh. It's a cardboard box you wear it on your head. It's got little pictures on the inside. No, it's not. It's got. It, what no, you do real, is you put here. your cell oh, phone on, on it. Hold on, I you have put the your link. Cell phone. You got an yeah, app. Okay. Cell phone puts the pictures in the cardboard, right. and it is. And it, it's 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 provided by Google. It costs. Right. What's your link? Okay. What's your link? Right there. It's, I put it in open chat. It's got a really oh. great graphic too. Oh, no. There, gotcha. good. Yes. By, by, by the way, let me ask you something, Dr. Friend. Do you do anything but play Second Life and read about virtual worlds? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I work full time. Fuck you. And you have the goat. <laughs> yeah. not, not, goat. not anymore. I can't. He'll be back. He always is. Can't resist. The same folks who argue they would never leave LLSL to experience other alternatives because they would not have access to their inventories, friends, and so-called communities are the same ones now arguing to leave Second Life and embrace LL's shiny new toy, leaving behind their inventories, friends, and so-called communities. There's a sucker born every true. minute. That's I'm just reading you what these people write, right? Yeah, let's see. I'm surprised everyone above is so favorable. To me, this is a horrible news. I'm one of those who thinks the biggest improvement they could make is to go back to Viewer 1.23. <laughs> 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 is that Haley? got to be Haley. It's probably me, yeah. <laughs> if LL wants to build a next-gen virtual world, fine, call it Third Life or something else and leave SL alone. SL has lots of problems, but from my perspective, with each improvement since Viewer 1.23, it's gotten worse. Lag is worse. Many things never res now. Camera controls are too coarse now. But I'm still in world 23 hours a day. <laughs> yeah. One way or another, no matter how they spin it, this announcement has basically set the clock ticking for SL. It really is the end this time. Content creators will always go where the money is. Let me tell you something. This is just the end. Second Life ended four years ago, but none of us would care. Remember when we came in? Yeah. Right. Remember when we came in, they all said, oh, it's, gonna, it's ending. It's ending. Six years ago when we all showed yeah. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember. Oh, right? voice. Everybody's going to be gone with voice. That's the end. Uh, it's the end. Win? Win? Yeah. If you win, win like, my SL11B kill it. That's what it was about. My SL11B was about yeah. that. It was just this yeah, horrible good. thing that, you know, uh, typing out the words, I want to suck your cock, didn't sound the same as coming from a voice like, I want to ah. suck your cock. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I want to. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> 
No open source code means no third party viewers. That means residents will have yes. to give up Firestorm, et cetera, and go back to the official non working Second Life viewer. <laughs> <laughs> These are great, don't you think? I'm on an old computer. It doesn't work because the, it, it, the meshes won't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. So they decided to start a virtual world from scratch rather than fixing the shit they broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it, right? Oh, I love it. Can you imagine? No, we should back. Our inventory won't work. Your inventory. It won't work. Yeah. Sits won't work. Scripts won't work. The avatars are going to be built differently. Your clothes won't be able to fit. There we go. Another $100,000 spent down the drain. <laughs> can you imagine? A whole can you, new world. Can you imagine? A whole new world. That's great, Dr. Fran. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> We're working. I mean, we have literally thousands of dollars in our closets and our, Fortunately, in our computer closets. Exactly. <laughs> Fortunately for us, Second Life 2 was able to Ouija board Walt Disney and help them approach the new world. <laughs> uh, and this, this is it. After all these things, all these various comments, this person writes this. I mean, come on. Did they not read a single comment above? Will we be able no. to transfer our avatars from old SL to new and keep our old res? <laughs> keep our old res? <laughs> res dates, yeah, our res oh, dates. Res dates. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I want to know what happened to my voting for people. Oh, I voted for you for builder. It cost me 50 oh, lindens. Yeah, 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 I remember that. The star oh, system. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Well, if your inventory is mass and consists of junk, I would take my time to clean the inventory up. In my case, I don't have a lot of junk in my inventory. I paid a lot of money for what I have, and believe me, it's not junk. <laughs> well, it may not be junk to you, but it's junk. <laughs> I mean, think about it. I don't even want to see what Doc Fran played in, paid in gotchas. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Are you kidding? I mean, what she has, her hoarding. Her hoarding yeah. is just outrageous. <clears throat> Yeah, well, this is just uh, just all bullshit, anyhow. So, so now here's another great person. So, what is this new world going to be called? It says at the beginning, Second Life Two. What is wrong with this? Guy? <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't name it yet. They didn't name they it. They haven't named it. Oh, they no, haven't named it. People are calling it um, Second Life TNG, the Next Generation. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Like that. Yeah. That is brilliant. That is just brilliant. <laughs> It's not that yeah. brilliant. You know what's going to be great about the, the new... The Empire is called itself. The oh, really? new Second Life 2 is going to be filled with creators and no shoppers. <laughs> That's a fabulous idea. There's no, a marketing no, point. No, right. No, no social, nothing. Just a whole bunch of content creators hanging around wondering why nobody's buying this shit. Yeah. Blue Mars all over again. <laughs> no, we, we're... Hmm. No, no, our Linden dollars will still work, but only in places like Greece. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody knows anything. It's just, right, well, Angelique. <laughs> yeah, you need a new computer for you. Including Abby. Yeah, Abby is probably just... They're just all Hello, Adius. They're just getting stoned. And, uh, I, I love it. Yeah, right. This was a trial <laughs> balloon that they did so that... Uh, We're hoping that Second Life 2 will bring us enough money to pay for the marijuana that we've been smoking. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Well, that's enough of that, don't you think? But that's it. Second Life yeah. 2. Uh, and, and they should have not put the number 2. They should have said Second Life T-O-O. -O. That would have been better, right? Second Life yes, 2? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're not even two. that clever. Yeah, and and plus, Second Life TNG. they needed you to. They needed you to consult. And I've just been in Second Life long enough that when I have to scroll my date, it takes me half an hour to see when I go back to whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was that was whatever. Anyhow, yeah, and and you know what? This is going to be a real problem if they finally get all this pixels working and stuff. Gee, you know, then all these things in my face aren't going to, you know, like I got a little pixel damage and stuff like that and you can't <laughs> see it because you don't, you know, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> They're going to be new girls doing comedy, not me, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's it. So 
By the way, wow, Second Life's only got two more years before it becomes a teenager. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, it'll be unbearable. Before you know it, it's going to want to use the car. <laughs> <laughs> Will we be able to orbit people there? Do you think we can orbit them? That'd be great, you know? I th I want to get some sort of a thing that I can just knock the creator's stuff down after they build it, so they have to build it again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> they have that. Uh, uh. Actually, that works in, in High Fidelity. You can do that. <laughs> really? Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. He that showed on, that. You can knock stuff down, purpose. yeah. Not on purpose, though. I mean, not on can, purpose? If, if you may, if you res, I don't even know if res is the right term, but if you res, a, like somebody put a box hell over my land and they can't get rid of it. So I don't even, I can't even do anything with my land right now. Oh, well, that sounds like some place I really want to join. That's fabulous. Well, wow. Yeah. It, it is <laughs> a little glitchy. Alpha, alpha, alpha. Yeah. Alpha, it's alpha. Right. Yeah. yeah, but that's what it, I, that's what it does. It takes that. So let me ask you this: as you've been in there, uh, is your vagina in the right place? <laughs> because the first world uh, here wasn't very good in the beginning. Well, <laughs> but you you can't even get the vaginas. The whole the whole avatar thing needs work. They haven't even gotten to that yet. Never go. It, it, some people, it, it's very complex. They used um, FBX as the mesh upload. That's um, uh, 3D Studio Max, and most people right. don't have that. Yeah. Mm. So, um, in any that event, that's so, expensive. Yeah, but and you know, if you know Loki Elliot, he's one of the top mesh creators in SL. He he can't even get an avatar in yet. So, and he's working on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Loki Loki is a child avatar. Yeah. At the oh, cool. convention, yeah, he was very cool. Yeah. Yeah, sure. No. Voxels. That's it, and I mean loaded with candy, not just a bar, not a bar. I'm talking about wow. <laughs> loaded, full of candy. <laughs> Wait, is he skinny? That's awesome. No, no, he's not skinny. You're not eating that candy and being skinny. Let's be exact. Some people can do that. No, some people. My ex used to live on sugar. Yeah. Mm. And he was a big yeah. thing. That's just that's hysterical. That's hysterical. Well, I thought it was great. Second Life is looking for uh, employees, by the way. They have an employee mm -hmm. thing up. They if you, are. You want, you can, yeah, they're looking for somebody, a chargeback specialist. <laughs> I, thought that that. Yeah, yeah. I thought that might have been, you know, what? somebody that played for the Dame de Broncos. <laughs> what is that, a chargeback specialist? <laughs> I think someone is chases down outstanding accounts Dead? like you owe us money. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, oh, it's a collection agency. That, that's know. correct. Very good. Right. If your last name is Soprano, you probably get that job real fast, you know. <laughs> but I like the physical demands. I read this at the show. This is great. The physical demands of a chargeback specialist are oh, <clears throat> described the following way. Reasonable accommodations may be made <laughs> to enable That's individuals with disabilities. Language. What? That's uh, Americans with Disabilities Act language. Right. While performing the duties of this job, the employee is regularly required to use a computer. Wow. Holy mackerel. you got to be kidding. Whoa. <laughs> you know, to, to use a computer. What happens what? if the disability is on computer illiterate? Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. High fidelity. Uh, your cam on your computer is working all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. And and your computer is working all the time. So what happens, like you're in high fidelity and you happen to want to just visit one of your little porn sites by yourself and uh, oh. uh -huh. yeah, that's a problem, right? Well, yep. you know what? The bat has what? face shift. The bat has face shift. Then when he puffs his cheeks out, his avatar's cheeks puff out. I know. He did. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. That's wow. That's right. that's a real wow. I'm telling you. When Philip, <laughs> what else is a wow? Can STFU. you give me another wow? STFU. <laughs> <laughs> now, by the way, employees for this uh, chargeback specials have to be able to lift 10 pounds, which tells you they got 10, 
10 pounds of unpaid fucking bills sitting on the table. <laughs> <laughs> And then they had, and they're required to stand or sit to complete their work <laughs> during the day. Well, is there a third anything. alternative? What's the third fly? <laughs> can't it? we fly? I just want to do it in fly. I'm going to put myself in fly no, mode. You've got a couch. <laughs> you lie down. <laughs> yeah. No, I love that, right? So we're going to have some fun. So you're having fun with high fidelity, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't ever get to get in when they have their meetups because it's too have, early. For, you know, because they're out. Have of you met anybody early. like the goat in High Fidelity yet? Any, uh, any? Well, the goat is there. The goat is he's there. He's there in High Fidelity as what? A human? He he's actually a, a, a gifted scripter and stuff. So he's actually. Well, I wouldn't think you would go out with somebody other than that. Absolutely. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Which means that he's got Aspergers and is a bit weird, right? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, my my avatar here is going to be very upset when 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 somebody says that's it, the plug is pulled. I mean, look, yeah. look at all the hours I spent, Jesus, <laughs> getting a facial, getting my tits lifted. I mean, come on. <laughs> and what are they going to do in this new world? I mean, if there's a whole group, I haven't seen any Lolas around lately. Anybody see any Lola girls around? They've seemed yeah, to have disappeared. Hello. Look at it. We have so many people here. Jamie, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. We got Tegan is over there and way in the back. We've got Cheyenne and Abius. Uh, what about you guys? You, what do you think about this whole Second Life too? Do you, do you think you want to go there? <clears throat> I'll tell you, I'm still trying to figure out how to play Prodigy. <laughs> 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 you know, what you got to think about, Prodigy had solitaire. And there were a lot of old people playing solitaire in, in Prodigy. So are they still playing solitaire and don't know that it's been closed? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's just like television. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Double television. Down. Television is, is all closed out with nobody noticed. So that's it, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm watching on television? I got into watching The Bridge. It was free good? on Hulu. I, I'm enjoying it. it, yeah. I, I like the girl. It's about the bridge between Mexico and the United States and the dastardly things that happen along the way. And, uh, yeah, I, I've, I've had some fun. Listen, I mean, you know, right now my arrow has been disconnected, you know. Arrow is gone. Yep. <clears throat> Second Life is still here, but arrow is gone. Is it Aero or Aereo? I think it's Aereo. Hello, Lizaday. Yeah, and you know Hello, who we're Lizzie missing today? Who, you know who's not here? Tindali. I'm going to have to find out if she's okay oh, because yeah. she's never missed a show. That's true. Yeah. I think I might have miffed her a little bit. So in high fidelity, <clears throat> do you see that... your avatar from behind? I mean, or do you just are your avatar? In, in high fidelity? Yeah. That you see it, you you get to choose how you want to see it. You can see a first person view, a mirror view. You can see, you know, depends on oh, what okay. you're doing. Yeah. They, they and guys you cam up your skirt. Um, the camera controls are really wonky right now. It'll get better. <laughs> Gosh, you're shaking, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we got to bring up Catboy, huh? I can't even okay. believe we had no show tonight, no show, and we've gotten through half the show with Cat no Boy. show. What do you Yay. think about that? Half the show with no show. Come on, Catboy. Right. Doc right. Run, by the way, announcement. Doc Run is not here. He's still moving. He misses us. He will be back. He has been mating with the blocky and uh, really needs to return. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's his wife. Um, excuse me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Lucky. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my go god, on? you look like something that came out of a surprise pack of Caracajacks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is one of the very first things that I made um, in Second Life. And it's and the it only thing it. I have with Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks it. Yeah. yeah. Um, you won't be able to bring that with you to Second Life too. <laughs> oh, no. Not because of <laughs> because it'll be banned. No, go ahead. I'm not want to interrupt you. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Now, uh, oh, wait, one second days. before you go. One second before you go. I want you to know, Catboy did a performance at SL, 
11B, and it was so good that the people who started 11B said they want him back next year. So let's give him applause. A lot of people did not get to see him, but the word is he was spectacular. I saw okay. him. Very good. Yeah. Okay, now I'm crashing. Okay, now in celebration of our Canada's 150th birthday coming up, they decided to come up with a brand new design for a new flag. What do you think? <laughs> Oh, that's what great. kind of an animal is that? With the it's teeth? a beaver riding a uh, Canadian geese. <laughs> I don't know geese. what that really means. A beaver riding a Canadian geese. Canadian that is geese. just way kinky, man. <laughs> that is that is, <laughs> you, that yeah, is that, that very was submitted rude. by a from Second Life. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. Oh, and I got something a little special to share with you all, but I'll, I'll save it for the very end. It's something I brought with me from S Eleven B. So it's secret. You have to keep it secret. Oh. Ooh. From 11B. Okay. Ooh. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the news. New York City announced that they have a morbid anatomy museum. Yes. Morbid, they call it. It's actually called that, the Morbid Anatomy Museum. It explores death rituals and all things macabre. I thought that was the ch the Catholic Church. <laughs> I did. Oh, well. And it could have been. Texas. Oh, and speaking of morbid, a uh, woman in Texas recently had to put down her elderly 13-year-old dog. The dog Aww. was cremated, which is very sad. I don't know what breed it was, uh, but maybe someone could, could tell me because uh, this next part would be a clue. The people who cremated the dog discovered a ring. It was a diamond engagement ring that belonged to the dog's owner and gone missing many years ago. So obviously the dog ate it and was stuck in its stomach all this Ugh. time. So geez, I don't know what dog could have done that. And the woman said, if I'd have known that bitch had eaten a ring, I'd have had it put down years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, now, um, does everyone know about Reddit, obviously? You must know about mm -hmm. Reddit. Okay, yes. now, in Reddit, there's a sort of unwritten rule. There's a thing that goes on where people ask questions, but they want serious answers. So what you have to do is, you, you, this unwritten rule says that you have to type in... A serious serious in, in in parentheses yeah right so you got to put in parentheses and you got to do this you got to add that oh wait i didn't spell the whole thing if you don't put that in there what this means is there's sort of a license that people are going to fuck with you they're just going to give you a whole bunch of nonsense they're saying well you forgot to put in the serious tag what happened was recently this uh, there's this woman that's trying to open a kids uh, daycare center and she asked for uh, a name. She couldn't come up with a name. So here are the very worst names that you have ever heard as ideas for a daycare center, as given by Reddit, because some of them put serious tag on. So here we go. Lousy names for a daycare center. Little bastards. <laughs> Children's caverns. Oh my God! Some uh, those of you from England prepare to cringe. Jimmy Seville's beauty salon. Ooh, I know who Ooh. he was. Yeah. Ouch, yeah, I know. Beauty Salon and Mortuary. Okay, the tur oh, you're not going to believe this one. Turtle Center for Slow Learners. This idea was rejected because it already exists. Turtle Center for Slow Learners. I don't believe that one. The Neverland Ranch. That <laughs> one was also taken, by the way. St. Louis Smalt Salt Mine Labor Camp. Um, Rearing Children. Mm. The Add Your Name Here Daycare Center, met three since 93. Mm -hmm. The Candy Van. The Holy Terror Corral. <clears throat> I like that one. The Holy Terror Corral. You don't like that one? Pedal Bears Forest of Delights. By the way, I had to edit out a lot of pedophilia theme ones because they just went on and on and on. Tried to mix it up a bit. Like this one, the Crotch Dropping Drop Off Center. Wow. <laughs> that one's for wow. that one's from, that's another one from England. Uncle Adolf's Abirmach Free Daycare Center, but that was Yikes. too long. So, mm -hmm. well, it gets discussed, and they said it's too long, and they changed it to Tot Switch. <laughs> okay, Rabbit Ralph's Petting Zoo, a furry themed daycare center. Oh, I like this one. Hunger Games Early Years Fitness Training Center. 65% graduation rate, 100% graduation success rate. And the last one's the scary worst one. If you happen to read Stephen King's It. Pennywise's uh, Clown Emporium and Scared Straight uh, Daycare Center. Uh, don't like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to move on to uh, the big secret thing, and that is I have a hold of SL11B's incident report. 
Uh oh. That's my oh. friend Cake. That's my friend Cake. Yeah. Carrying yeah, a penis. Yes, I <laughs> incident report, and I just thought maybe we'll read through it. I'll leave the names out. So, we'll... oh, hold on. I, there's one thing I forgot. Out of all of the kids, um, sorry, the lousy names for daycare centers. Here's one. It's a photograph, and it's absolutely real, and you're not gonna believe it. I'll stretch this out for you. This is a real daycare center. Somebody what does it not say? Think, it says kids, kids exchange, but it problem kids is they sex, made it all one kid, right. Yeah. Kids, the problem is since they made it all one word, it's like kids sex change. It's like oh, oh, just drop off your girl and bring back a boy. That's just wow. That's just, just bad just wrong. ideas. Speaking of bad ideas, I thought maybe I'd read out the incident report for you, and um, it's it's mm -hmm. pretty big, and a lot of it is like you know just like minor silly ass little things like you know like too many prams, too many this, too many that. But some of these are real gems, and I'll have to I have to sort of dig through it to find it. Somebody fell through the walkway because they accidentally did not make it. They said, "Well, you got to make everything phantom." Yeah, but if you build a bridge, that kind of needs to be solid. You don't want people falling in the water. And, uh, oh gosh, where is it? Just need to. Oh, yeah, here it is. Um, a, a complaint nipples and butt cracks. That's the violation. The violation was nipples and butt cracks. The resolution. Here's the resolution. Build has been de nippleized. The butt cracks have been filled in. It's all okay. <laughs> there are two new dabbies, but you only see them from behind and you can't see the bombs. So that mm -hmm. makes it okay. Um, was that Prim slightly extends over the roadway? Their idea of slightly is 64 meters. <laughs> okay. Everything on plot, not phantom. How many Prims did they have in the plot? 483 with a temp reser. Wow. Okay, here's one. A uh, cop. Oh, somebody built their entire build was a copy bot. And somebody, the person who filed the complaint, they made this little sudden note, and they said, it's one of the old Staven Carter copybot machines. Bleh. You know, do you, does anyone remember that one? It was yeah. a copybot of a copybot. Right. It was, a, it was the, his, entire, his entire exhibition was copybotted, because he left the copybot inside the exhibition, where everyone could see it. So, geez. Okay. So, oh, and by the way, the, the name of the person who did this, go figure, their last name is Laxness. Well, I guess that, that, that really does describe you. Lax. All right. Um, see, uh, f Temp Rezzer is trying to res 500 prims. Ouch. Uh, there's a lot of people trying to open up stores and stuff like that. There was a complaint that uh, the, the a lot of commercial. A lot of commercial stuff. That always happens. And there was a complaint from uh, on one of the other exhibitions that said that the Brony exhibition was a co was a copyright violation, but they did not actually use any of the characters from the show. Those were all original characters, and every time they showed characters from the TV show, that it was all fan art, and that is that's allowed in Second Life. So there's yes. nothing they can do about that. So they said. Are we getting any jokes soon or not? Um, well, it's not <laughs> just joking. <laughs> you know I tease you all the time. Come on. You're making fun of me. Okay. Pictures of two pictures of art with nipples showing. She removed the pictures, but brought them back later and covered up the nipples with prims, and saying that solves the problem. Yeah, until Should have removed the person up. and left the nipples. <laughs> then it would have been G. <laughs> 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 what violations? Third was it? Uh, was it third image of nudity? Nipples showing. Large cube below the sim surface set at set for sale at seven hundred lindens. Apparently, they're trying to sell porn. Um, <laughs> oh my God! Here's here's one that's very 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 common. This happens over and over again. It's the guys doing this, and the women are going to know what I'm talking about. It's the towers exceeding height limit. Mm -hmm. You know the towers, like they set them at uh, only 100 meters, and uh, everyone is saying that uh, it was that the, the guys. It's it's a penis thing. Like here's my great big giant dick. Yeah. Everybody I thought that was a big problem. Dick. Was uh, mirror? I thought I heard there was a big problem with mirrors on your feet. You know that was a huge problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Warren. <laughs> okay. That's 
Um, so dinosaur <laughs> era joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Uh, this is what I feel sorry for. Hey, they're bringing back that. They're bringing that back in Second Life too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a mirror. Just cam it around. Oh, hey. Here's what I feel sorry for. There was a person who was who had, they had trouble putting their uh, their exhibition together, and the only furniture they could find was sex bed furniture. <laughs> That was it. That's all I could find. It's all I was in my inventory. It's all it's gonna sell. I can't find any appropriate furniture. I feel sorry for that guy. Okay. Um, everything on in there. Oh, which is someone that made a mistake. Every single prim was set to for sale at one linden each. Huh? In their entire, in their entire exhibition. They probably didn't mean to do it. They just, they Kept just covered it up. Prim. Yeah, that was the thing. They, yeah, the first one was for sale, and they just did duplicated it. That's probably what happened. Oh, it was hamster tube found rolling out on onto the road. Hamster tube. <laughs> Resolution: pick up the hamster tube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I want to see that. It's probably right outside where the 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 Barone, uh, uh, exhibition is. Let's see. Build. Yeah. Johnny has two hundred and third was a three hundred and twenty eight prims on their parcel. There's a lot of that. Here's another one that people do is uh, boundary problems. It's it's a lot of little ones, you know, like tree overhang, which is allowed. But the problem is they said it was allowed, and then people decided to go crazy with it. So it's overhanging. Here's one that's overhanging by sixty four meters. How big was that tree? If just the <laughs> overhang was sixty four meters, I have to have seen that. Um, store, store, too many colliders. Oh, here's someone. They complained that their next door neighbor had too many pr had too many scripts that made everything laggy. The neighbor had 24 scripts. The guy who made the complaint had 280 scripts running. <laughs> and he says his neighbor is responsible for the lag. Oh, okie dokie. Uh, branch. There was a lot of lag. Yeah, Man, I kept oh, my scripts always, down about. Yeah. You know that stuff I had rotating in. Sorry. That. You know what? The, next year, uh, you you look how popular that live auditorium was, where you know we we're doing all the interviews and everything. I missed oh, the three shows. Yeah, I missed three shows the because the was sim beautiful. was full. Wow. How many people here missed a show because the sim was full? There's a no, hundred people a in there, and that's it. That's all he could do. I never leave my sim. Yeah. But the thing is, though, next year they really should put the auditorium in a corner, like four corners, like they do over at uh, Rockcliffe University. That. That would, uh, that really, that's what they should do. No, it wasn't. It was just in one sim. And the problem is my exhibition was in that sim. So whenever the place filled up, I couldn't even visit my own exhibition. So. Oh. Uh. Really sorry. Um, when Yoko Ono came, remember when she came in? You couldn't yeah, get second in. Second life, yeah, you couldn't get mm. in. Yeah, and, um, you couldn't get in. And we had been in the year before and the year before that. What year but, did she do that, by the way? Does anyone remember? She, okay. She does it on, on the, Lennon's birthday. They still do it, but not with her. Well, here's someone. Did anybody and see? And Kurt came in, too. Kurt, who? Kurt yeah, Vonnegut. He's been in a lot. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's now he's dead. He comes in all the time, but he's dead. That's second life. <laughs> That's where you go. I see dead people. <laughs> That's where you go. Lord, <laughs> somebody actually had a talk on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, he does a lot of music in general. Okay, did anyone see the the uh, the exhibition that was on fire, where uh, mm. it it looked like something was constantly burning all the time? It was pretty close to Dr. Fran's exhibition. I did where the where the Democratic thing was. Apparently, their entire exhibition was one prim, <laughs> one prim, and everything that they had on display was just that script they had. 
that had that fire tree thing happening. That was it. That's a that takes well. balls. I, I you know what that takes balls to pull that off. I would say that's that's pretty in innovative. And um, spam bot, spam bot, spam bot. Various items and vendor are marked at two hundred fifty lindens. These people are pretty greedy. No, Daisy's on the second yeah. life. Yeah, <laughs> Daisy's on the sidewalk. I'm shocked. Gambling in Second Life? <laughs> I'll hear your winnings, winnings madam. <laughs> I'm shocked, shocked to find there's gambling going on in here. Here are your winnings, sir. Well, thank you very much. All right, that's it. Uh, uh, that's it? Wow, well, there, there you go. Bravo. 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 Yeah, yeah, way to go. Fantastic. There you go. We got only 10 minutes before showtime, and we have in the house tonight, and in case you guys haven't heard a bunch of things, one... I think Liz might be married as of now. Is that right, Liz? Today, are you now married? Wow. Is that right? She is, in fact. Yes. And uh, and last time she performed with her husband to be, I believe, and it was fantastic. What a great show you gave, Liz. That was a fantastic show. And uh, let's just uh, for fun, we'll go through a few of these. How many people enjoyed Rodney Dangerfield? We should figured we'd give him a little commemorative today. Oh, you know? yeah. Because Absolutely. he came in, he came in world also today. You know, dead people are coming in here dead regularly. People. <laughs> dead people. <laughs> so, I see dead avatars. Yeah. Right. Actually I see avatars. <laughs> <laughs> I see avatars. Uh, Rodney was actually a very nice man. Great, I met him I, once I, in I New York him. briefly. I, I just at his club. He's, he was, Not really met him, was, but you know. No, he's a, he was a friend of a friend, so he was always at <laughs> the same great. parties. You know, I've talked to him a couple of yeah. dozen times, always with a young girl, and then all of a sudden he was with a wife, and she yeah. was like 50 years old, but she yeah. looked like the same age as me, and I was like 22. Yeah, it so was incredible. She was, she was like amazing surgery, yeah. amazing surgery. Yeah. Oh, he, he left too soon, I think. He, he, he wasn't that old. That was, well, he got her at the Second so Life Marketplace. Him. <laughs> he got he got her at the Second Life Marketplace. I say I hear hear some from you. My wife and I were happy for twenty oh, well, years. Bob. Then we met. Oh, what did Bob say? <laughs> he said he said standing next to Rodney, yeah. anyone would look good. Right. <laughs> I tell you, my wife and I we don't think alike. She donates money to the homeless, and I donate money to the topless. <laughs> <laughs> One night I came home, I figured, uh, let my wife come on. I'll play it cool. Let her make the first move. She went to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I asked my old man if I could go ice skating on the lake. He told me, wait till it gets warmer. <laughs> <laughs> my doctor told me to watch my drinking. Now I drink in front of a mirror. I drink too much, way too much. My doctor drew blood. He ran a tab. <laughs> 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 when I was born, the doctor came out of the waiting room and said to my father, I'm very sorry, we did everything we could, but he pulled through. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I come from a stupid family. During the Civil War, my great uncle fought for the West. <laughs> <laughs> my mother had morning sickness after I was born. No, oh, come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My mother never breastfed me. She told me she only liked me as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> My father carries around the picture of, of a kid who came with his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell my parents hated me. My bath toys were a toaster and a radio. <laughs> <laughs> One year they wanted to make me a poster boy for birth control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember the time I was kidnapped and they sent a piece of my, a piece of my finger to my father. He said he wanted more proof. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle's dying wish was to have me sitting on his lap. He was in the electric chair. <laughs> uh, the morning, 
This morning, when I put on my underwear, I could hear the Fruit of the Loom guys laughing at me. <laughs> what a great mind. I mean, you guys love them. I'm a bad lover. Once I caught a peeping Tom booing me. <laughs> my wife only has sex with me for a purpose. Last night, she used me to time an egg. <laughs> <laughs> my wife isn't very bright the other day she was at the store and just as she was heading for the car someone stole it and I said did you see the guy that did it and she said no but I got the license plate number <laughs> <laughs> last night my wife met me at the front door she was wearing a sexy negligee the only trouble was she was coming home <laughs> <laughs> A girl phoned me and said, come on over, there's nobody home. I went over, nobody was home. <laughs> a, a hooker once told me she had a headache. <laughs> I went to a massage parlor, it was self-service. <laughs> once when I was lost, I saw a policeman and asked him to help me find my parents. I said to him, do you think we'll ever find them? He said, I don't know, kid. There's so many places they can hide. <laughs> I'll give some more of these. I, I think they're great, all right? Don't you think? I mean, the guy was phenomenal. His, his whole Absolutely. sense of humor was great. Yeah. Uh, I remember I was so depressed I was going to jump out a window on the 10th floor. They sent a priest up to talk to me. He said, on your mark. <laughs> 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 When my old man wanted sex, my mother would show him a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> my wife made me join a bridge club. I jump off next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, my tie caught on fire. Some guy tried to pull it out, put it out with his axe, with an axe. <laughs> I met the Surgeon General. He offered me a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I was making love to this girl and she started crying. I said, Are you going to hate yourself in the morning? She said, No, I hate myself right now. <laughs> uh, I knew a girl so ugly they used her in prisons to cure sex offenders. <laughs> I knew a girl so ugly, I took her to the top of the Empire State Building, and planes started to attack her. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a girl so ugly, she had a face like a saint, a Saint Bernard. <laughs> I was tired one night, and I went to the bar to have a few drinks. The bartender asked me, what do you have? I said, surprise me. He showed me a, a naked picture of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. During sex, my wife always wants to talk to me. Just the other night, she called me from a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my marriage is on the rocks again, yeah. My wife just broke up with her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I came home early from work. I saw a guy jogging naked. I said to him, hey, buddy, what are you doing that for? He said, because you came home early. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see my doctor, Dr. Vidi Bumba. Yeah, I told him once, doctor, every morning when I get up and look in the mirror, I feel like throwing up. What's wrong with me? He said, I don't know, but your eyesight is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I told my dentist, my teeth are going yellow. He told me wear a brown necktie. <laughs> <laughs> My psychiatrist told me I'm going crazy. I told him, if you don't mind, I'd like a second opinion. He said, all right, you're ugly, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ugly, my mother used to feed me with a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> when I was born, the doctor took one look at my face, turned me over, and said, oh, look, twins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were so poor, poor. When I was born, if I wasn't a boy, I'd have nothing to play with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm not a sexy guy. I went to the hooker, dropped my pants. She dropped her price. <laughs> <laughs> What a childhood I had. When I took my first step, my old man tripped me. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I told the psychiatrist, I keep thinking about suicide. He told me from now on, I have to pay in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, when I was a kid, all I knew was rejection. My yo-yo, it never came back. <laughs> <laughs> Lost oh, a lot of boomerangs. <laughs> Oh, when I was a kid in show business, I was poor. I used to go to orgies and eat the grapes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I'd get no respect. The time I was kidnapped and the kidnapper sent my parents a note, they said, we want $5,000 or you'll never see your or you, or you or you will see your kid again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll tell you, my wife... <laughs> I'll tell you, my wife was never nice. On our first date, I asked her if I could give her a goodnight kiss on the cheek. She bent over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tell you, with my doctor, I don't get no respect. I told him I swallowed a bottle of sleeping pills. He told me to have a few drinks and get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> some dog I got, too. We call him Egypt because he leaves a pyramid in every room. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Yeah, and with my dog, I get no respect. He keeps barking at the front door. He doesn't want to go out. He wants me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I saw my psychiatrist. I told him, Doc, I'm thinking I'm, I'm keep thinking I'm a dog. He told me to get off his couch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, come on. So that was a fun, right? A, a yeah. big applause yeah. for Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. He made us laugh so many times with one liner. Wasn't, it, wasn't it incredible? Yeah. 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 And tell me that he wasn't great in Caddyshack. Come on, in Caddyshack. Oh my god, he was great. <laughs> so I'm gonna get off the stage and let her get up here on stage. Come on. Oh, where am I walking to? I can't don't even know how to walk. All right, come on up here, uh Liz Day and get yourself all set up. And uh, when we're all ready to go, Jamie, just say so somehow with no show, no whatever. We never have a show. We did a show without a show. How do we do that every week? We don't even know. Yeah, every Tuesday, even though I don't know how it happens. Nobody knows how it happens. Yeah. It's happens. you know what it is? It's because we're all drunk. That's what it is. <laughs> Speak for yourself, James. I still love that guy who came in a second life and went to AA meetings and I asked him, I said, So why do you like AA meetings in Second Life? He said, Because I can drink at them and nobody knows. I that was just... <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <laughs> so tell that tell that joke that I like so much. Oh, the gotchas? Yeah, the gotchas, you know. The reason they call it the gotchas is because they got you, you know. They got a rare red safety pin that you just paid like 900 frickin' Lindens for, right? Okay, a rare pin. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, we could come up with all sorts of gotchas, right? Like, wow. Oh, let's have paper towels with flowers on them. That'll be the gotchas. The white ones will be the regular ones. <laughs> I think the gotcha thing is unbelievable. I mean, they named it. They knew exactly, you know. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> we got you. No problem. And there's a lot of junk. I mean, seriously, there's a lot of junk. Yeah. I see people collecting real junk. And they stand in front of this thing <laughs> to pull the thing so that they can get the one that's marked rear. I mean, think about it. There's only five primary colors. And they make one of them rear. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> and the worst part is somebody's favorite color, like Haley's, is green. But if the rear one is red, she's going to stand there and pull the freaking handle all day long trying to get the red one. I mean, what the hell is that? <laughs> Yeah, like Vegas. <laughs> I think I got that Rodney Dangerfield stuck in me right now. Yeah, I get no yeah. respect. <laughs> <laughs> the reincarnation. Yeah. Oh, hey, God, Lauren, you, you, will, you will always get respect as long as you got boobs and you don't speak. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that yeah. what you know what I say? <laughs> I had this voice in second life and this body in, and um, this voice in, in first life and this body in first life. Guess what? Somebody would find duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> some people uh, look like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure yeah. there would be some. 
Look at this. This is it. This is Haley who lives in LA. Some people would like it, yeah. They're, they're never going to let me into Second Life 2, that's for sure. Are you kidding? <laughs> you can't copy this. Does anyone know who Dr. Girlfriend is from. Uh... No. It's a no. female. It's a sexy female character. She's a supervillain, but she's voiced by Harvey. Uh, oh, Firestein. Firestein. Harvey Firestein does the voice for it. Yeah, and it's a sexy woman with Harvey Firestein's voice. Ah, and okay. Voice yep, and it's a hottie. People go for it. Well, listen. We started this here. When did when did that thing come out? How long ago? We've been doing this nearly know, eight when, years. When did the Venture Brothers start? I don't know. Um, yeah. I think someone probably copied you. It had to be. Yeah, exactly. It's a copy. Been That's it. Yeah, That's right. I've been copy botted. I've been copy botted. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> that was surprising. Venture <laughs> Brothers started in the year. Come on, where are you? Two thousand and three. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's, well, I was doing this before there was Second Life, and before there was Second Life, everything we're doing here, do you, do you know what they call this that we do here in Second Life, before there was Second Life? Hallucinations, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Milty used to do it before you. Right? Yeah, Uncle Milty, and also Flip Wilson. Yes. Ah, yeah. yeah. I remember him. Geraldine, remember Geraldine? Yep. Yeah. Hey, and and uh, and uh, Dustin Hoffman, but guess what? Mm -hmm. Not one of them ever looked as good as me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is all natural beauty. I want you to know that. I love in Second Life when somebody says, "We're selling real diamonds." <laughs> right on the jewelry. Right. I'm like a fucking idiot. Excuse me. Who said that to me? Yeah, but they got they sell stuff here, you know. Oh, here, natural here, you know. So I went to the owner. I said, "Listen, the blonde here, I'm getting here. Tell me which sim you got it off of, because I want to go see the bald women over there." <laughs> <laughs> do they make do they make ha hairstyles for women and use male hair at all for any of that? Do you know Haley would know? Do they do that, Haley? You mean they have unisex hairstyles? Is that what you were saying? No, not unisex. Do they actually use, are they gender specific in, in, in making hair for women? Well, are they using? Brick, Brick actually has girls' hair on right now. So, yeah, you can, you can switch around. Brick short, short hair. Brick has girls' Brick hair on? Is a pen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> girls' hair. I've been told she's running. I'm not hearing her, folks, running? but toggle. Uh, uh, all right, toggle. I love that toggle, toggle. What would they call it in Second Life 2? Kick the fucking computer? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can learn a whole new world. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you so very much. I'm coming out of voice. Good Thanks, night. And love you all. Whoa. Okay. We're... Oh.